Hello. 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 Today's programme is about buying and selling, and importing and exporting. That's buying and selling? Between different countries. Importing and exporting. For Britain, this car is an export. And for Britain, this car is an import. Good morning, madam. Welcome to Harry's Cars. How can I help you? I want to buy a car. Well, you've come to the right place. We have cars from all over the world. What would you like? A Japanese car? A Spanish car? Or this one? The best car in the showroom. It's a world car. A world car? Yes, every part of this car is made in a different country. The engine is made in Germany, the controls are made in Japan, the tyres are made in France, the windows are made in Spain. What's made in Britain? Ah, these. The engine is made in Germany. They make the engine in Germany. The engine is made in Germany. What kind of things do you buy? Are they made in your country or are they imported? I have a bicycle that is made in Taiwan, uh, a car that is made in Japan, a Mazda. I have a guitar that came from Spain, uh, made by the uh, Ramirez brothers. I have uh, a saddle that came from Australia. I have a Marin mountain bike, which comes from America, and a Sony Walkman, which comes from Japan. I have uh, discovered among our artifacts uh, an old chest of my great-great-grandmother, which was originally imported from, from England back in, in the 1850s. I have Greek urns. I also have Japanese clothes and a grass skirt all the way from Hawaii. This is my new computer. It's a portable computer. You can carry it easily. It's made in Japan. The factory makes about a thousand computers like this every month. Most of them are exported. About 300 a month are sold in Britain. Hardly any are sold in Japan. So, the hardware, the computer is made in Japan, but the software comes from California. This is a business program. A lot of software is developed in California, and it's sold all over the world. Most of the computers are exported. They export most of the computers. Most of the computers are exported. A lot of software is developed in California. A lot of software is developed in California. Carl Schiller works for a computer company in Germany. He's in London at the moment to talk to Julia Marsh and James Brady. So, Carl, why are you here? I'm here to talk about a new business project. What kind of project? We're developing a new computer for children to use at home. But surely lots of computers are made for children. Okay. And several of them are made for home use. How is your computer different? In two ways. First, we're developing a better voice activation system. A what? What does voice activation mean? I'm sorry. Look at this computer. This one doesn't have a voice activation system. In order to use it, you have to read the screen, then type your answer. China, history, yes, but the new computer speaks to the child. It asks a question and the child answers by speaking to the computer. Hmm. And 
And the other difference? Ah, it's educational. Nearly all the computers that are sold to children are for games. Hardly any are made to help children with their studies. But yours will. Yes, because we're developing special software, study programs. I see. You're developing the software in order to sell the hardware. <laughs> yes, you could say that. Hmm. It sounds very interesting. But it is, and maybe you two can help me. How? We need an advertising agency here, in Britain. You mean you want us to advertise your computer? Yes. Do you realize that we're a very small company? Yes, so you must work for me to get bigger. Hmm? What do you think? Yes, Carl. We'd love to. I'm here to talk about a new business project. To talk about a new business project. Carl is here because he wants to talk about a new business project. To, or in order to. You're developing the software in order to sell the hardware. In order to sell the hardware. In order to. Or just to. It means the same thing. There's an English sports car called a Morgan. The Morgan factory is not like most car factories. It's a traditional factory and it's very small. It only has about a hundred workers. The company was started by Harry Morgan. Today, his grandson, Charles Morgan, is the production manager at the factory. He explains how Morgan cars are made. The Morgan is built using a technique which uh, we call coach building. Coach building was very popular in the 1920s. And in fact, all the best cars in the world were always coach built. And what that means is that rather like in the olden days, with um, coaches being built out of a, a wood frame and uh, metal panels, uh, we still build the car that way. We start with the ash uh, tree and uh, we make a frame and we then cover it in either steel or aluminium. The car is constructed with a steel chassis and the engine and the drive line and the gearbox and the back axle is assembled into the chassis. We put the engine in the centre of the chassis in order to give the car balance. The car, once it's finished as a chassis, has a ticket put on it with the customer's name on it. And even at this stage, when the car is only two or three days old, the customer can see his particular car going through our factory. The wood frame is assembled out of many, many different, what we call body rails. And the skill of assembling the wood frame is to make sure that each joint is treated as a very important part of the overall picture of the car. To that end, the joints are glued and screwed together. There are 76 different pieces of wood, and most of them have a joint both ends. The Morgan is built out of a combination of parts which we obtain from external suppliers and parts that we manufacture ourselves. We manufacture many of the major components ourselves because we want to give the car its particular character. The metal parts are made out of a flat sheet of metal in every case. We make, for example, the fuel tank of the car. We make the radiator of the car. At the final assembly stage, the various items are fitted to the car, like the heater, like the computer box that runs the engine, like all the uh, 
electrical equipment that uh, makes up the dashboard. Morgans are exported to virtually all the civilized countries in the world at one time or other. We have agents in approximately 15 different countries. The proportion of cars uh, that are exported compared to the proportion that are uh, sold in the UK is, uh, is half and half. So approximately 50% are, uh, are exported. The Morgan sports car has a unique look, but it also has, I think, a unique character. And that character comes from the materials that are used in the making of the car. And it comes from the, uh, the way it's built and the people who build it, because undoubtedly, of the 100 people who build this car, they all put a little bit of themselves into the car. Mmm, lovely cars. That was Charles Morgan at the Morgan Car Factory, where a hundred people are employed making cars. And this is a studio where three people are employed making programs. And now the program is finished. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.